everyone, Libby here. Back today with another weekly grocery haul and what I ate at the end of the video. Unfortunately, last week I was really crook again. Luckily enough, I had done that big shop but on Sunday because from Monday through to Friday afternoon and Saturday, <laughs> I wasn't very well. So we actually ended up only having one thing, which was a homemade pizzas, which was on our plan last week. So quite a few have shifted over to this week and I hope that they'll get done. But yeah, <laughs> it was a bit of an abysmal week, but it was um, good that I had been prepared. Feeling a lot better this week and hopefully going to have a good week in the kitchen. So this is my menu plan. Sorry if you can't read my messy writing. I will walk you through it because I know my writing is pretty atrocious. So tonight we're going to have baked potato with broccoli and mushrooms. That's from an online course that I did. Um, tomorrow night Kevin's going to be out so we're going to have some corn chowder. Wednesday sweet potato enchiladas from the Oshi Glows cookbooks which we've had before and really enjoyed. Thursday night's going to be some corn fillets, mashed potatoes, Yorkshire pudding and probably some gravy. Friday night is a new recipe and that is the uh, coconut lime rice with red beans and mango from the Thug Kitchen cookbook. So that looks really nice. And then on Saturday, a sweet potato bowl. So hopefully I've got one spare meal so obviously they can shift around a bit but here's hoping that this will actually stick to the menu plan. One good thing, at least I took time and I got back from my groceries and I stored all my fruit and veggies right. So even though they're a week old, most of the veggies are in sort of good bags and in good in good condition. And I chopped up that broccoli, that way it's still fine because it's been in one of the veggie keeper bags. So everything is in good condition. The mushrooms might be anything that's a bit past their best, so I'll buy some more mushrooms. I was just going to show you what we've got left from last week. Not a lot, still have my pomegranates. <laughs> might have them today, later on. Um, so yeah, bananas past their best, I'm going to freeze them. One mango sort of got left, so that's not too bad. And then in the fridge, we have not really a lot. Um, Mum sent over some, uh, <laughs> what's that, celery that she didn't use. So I've got some leftovers from yesterday's lunch. Yeah, you can sort of see what we've got. Um, one of those sweet potato, mashed sweet potatoes are still left. A bit of um, leftover TVP taco seasoning. Cashews ready to make um, ranch dressing, so I'll do that later on. And yeah, Kevin wanted a bit much milk, so we've now got a lot of milk. Um, plenty of cheese. Okay, as you know, a lot of cold stuff today, mainly juices as you can see. Chrissy's apple juice, I've got some breakfast juice because she'd sometimes like that for a change and Kevin likes to have an orange juice to um, go for his ride if he's going on a Saturday. Uh, Athena's orange mango and the ice cool that I really like with the green tea. Um, some icy poles, when Athena was sick last week that's what she wanted because her throat was very sore and that was obviously nice and soothing for her and she still got a bit of sore throat so I thought I'd pick up some more. Um, can I really find them at Coles now? I can't seem to find them anywhere else. And the billabongs, chocolate billabongs, I've got to try and find them. Um, just because they're not, if you want an ice cream, they're probably the best ice creams to have, but no one seems to sell them anymore. Got some um, beetroot slaw for the salads I'm going to make up. I've got another one of these pumpkin hummuses that I tried a few weeks ago. Just because I haven't got any hummus made up, hopefully I'll make some up tomorrow, but if not, it's good to have one on standby. And I'm just going to be trying a few of these dips. I'm um, not sure that one the coriander. They didn't have the one that we liked last week. That Aussie one was so good from Woolworths. I'll have to go back and buy some more of that. Um, so I thought I'd just pick up that one. Some ham and silver side for um, lunches. Not for mine. <laughs> they didn't have a normal sour cream. So I've got this Coles light sour cream. And I've forgotten that Athena has, was going to invite some friends over for Friday night. But I'm not sure if they're coming yet or not. But I, I bought um, these um, RSPCA chicken breasts with herb and garlic. We've got a couple of plain ones in the freezer and I might stick these in the freezer too until I know how many people are coming. Okay, pantry items. Just did a bit of top up on these sort of packet foods. Again, I tried to give the girls too many of these during the week but sort of, especially Christy's hard to feed. So <laughs> she gets like three packets of jumpies a week so that'll last her a while. They're on sale so I've got two. Um, I usually have the little tiny teddies again just as a standby. 
and I saw these little mini wafers I thought I might get them for a change but these go in the spare pantry and they're only given out when I haven't got any homemade healthy cookies over there <laughs> so if I'm well they don't need these chicken rice crackers were on sale again so I got six packets because we were I think we we're out and I just got another pack of these Vita Wheat, Vita, Vita Wheat Multi Green Rice Crackers. I really like them if I haven't got the Mary's Gone Crackers. And I'm out of Mary's Gone Crackers. I need to go to Costco. In the meantime, I'll order from iHerb just one box. I do want to pay $7 a box in our supermarket, so I just got some more of these. Uh, got some Nurofen. Um, these are just a general Nurofen, I think. And I saw these ones, they're quite expensive for tension headaches. And I thought I might try these when I get my really bad headaches. Hopefully I won't have them again, but if I do, or also when I get another headache again, I'm going to try those and see if they work better. Because um, Panadine is what has always worked for me before, it doesn't seem to work much. Two of these Scotch Bright pads. Um, I use these before and really like them. Athena doesn't like them though, so if I have this, she won't wipe up. But the Enyo cloths that I've been using forever just keep going mouldy, so I've given up again on them. They're too expensive to go mouldy, and obviously with health problems, I don't want mould out in the kitchen, so. What's some more of them? I might even give mum one because she wasn't sure what to do either because she's having the same problem with Enyo. I thought it was just me because I don't look after them very well, but she's got the same problem. And well, I have got some other ones that I bought too, so that um, other cloths that Thinner can use. Yeah, this was naughty because <laughs> you might remember I've already got a big box of the Quality Street that I bought a while back. This is a smaller box and these are going to be our, for our early Christmas Eve <laughs> with the pals. Um, yeah, so I just got a smaller box. And then our big tin we will probably take away on the cruiser for Christmas. Um, some organic free range eggs. Um, I couldn't, the box of 10 were a short date, so I just bought these because they were longer. And as I said, the chickens, we're not getting many eggs at the moment because our chickens are pretty old and we've only got three. So we're having to start buying eggs because we aren't actually going to replace our chickens. Got some more of the Bon Soy milk. Really, really happy with this. I've been, so all my coffee, tea now. So all my tea now is with the bonsai milk. I've given up on the normal milk. Um, so I think the only thing I'm still in normal milk with is with a uh, cereal that I like. But if I'm having the birch and muesli, I can I probably, probably should try this with the cereal. But um, if I'm having the um, birch and birch oats or um, overnight oats, I use almond milk. Okay, bread from the supermarket. We got these sunflower triangles. I really like these. I haven't had one for ages, months and months, because I try not to buy them because I really love them too much, but um, <laughs> but some to have today, and some bagels, the girls enjoy their bagels, and I think I said last week I probably should not buy them, but they only really like get kind of two each a week, so that's probably not too bad. Some bread rolls for lunches, I'm not sure how Athena's going, she's not quite back on to what she was eating before, which was the rice and the beans and the sweet potatoes, because she's still not feeling the best, so I don't know what she's going to want for lunch tomorrow, but as you can see, got plenty of bread anyway. And I've got another loaf of the wholemeal bread. But the, both of these were from Baker's Delight. I actually, I actually bought all my fruit and veg from Coles today. Because I'd already picked up a few things. And I thought I didn't need as much as sometimes. So I'm just going to get it all from there. Because I had quite a few things on sale. Uh, I wanted to buy butter lettuce. But the butter lettuce looked really pathetic. So I've got this. What's this? A green oat. Yep. Green oat lettuce. I thought these were so cute. And yes. Because I bought two punnets. I could have put one punnet of red and one punnet of orange. <laughs> I'm a bit sad. I just thought they were so cute. Um, they were the same price, so it didn't make any difference how I bought them. <laughs> I actually wanted to show you guys. Um, two cucum Lebanese cucumbers for my salads. Baby spinach. So I'm hoping to get a few smoothies in each week, but I'm not going through as many smoothies because I am having lots of the birch roots and I'm really enjoying them at the minute. So, But probably a couple of smoothies. I should try and do smoothies in the afternoon, but I never do them then. Probably because I'm drinking tea. Um, four big sweet potatoes. I've got little sweet potatoes still, but I don't like the little ones. I won't buy them again. I don't find I want to cook with them. So I've got some big ones. And fruit, got more bananas. Two pints of blueberries. They were on sale in Coles as well. My first nectarines of the season. I thought this one was so cute how it still had the leaves on them. <laughs> so they still feel a little bit firm. So probably in a few days they'll be ready to have. An avocado for Kevin for dinner one night. Not sure what night. Not tonight. Um, a couple of mangoes. They were still three for five dollars. I really want to buy a tray of mangoes somewhere, but we haven't been um, able to get a tray yet. So um, two of them I bought green. I was actually going to go to the fruit shop and try and pick up some other ones, but I forgot. I should have bought more. But I'll go in a few days and buy some more. So it's not, not a big deal. Uh, two pints of strawberries. These look really good strawberries. I hope they are. 
they look really good. Might do some for tonight. And a bag of Pink Lady apples because we actually finished off, finally, all those apples that we had from Halloween. Well, this was my little top up shop on a Friday. I went to Woolworths today. Um, needed a few things. And then Athena's got some friends coming over, staying tonight, and I'll be here part of tomorrow. But I might have got a little bit carried away. <laughs> anyway, starting off, I wanted some more of these Aussie dip with the sweet potato. They were really nice, so I grabbed two of them. And I also got one of those sweet potato cashew. And the main ingredient in this one is red lentils. So that was really nice. They're not perfect ingredient wise, but not too bad, I guess, for a dip. I also got some of my SSS hummus that I like. I will hopefully get around to making more hummus again, but it's um, <laughs> not at the minute. Not this weekend anyway, not today. Maybe, I don't know. This keeps for a while anyway, so if I do get around to making some, this goes to the 1st of December. Uh, I think it was after some sort of spreadable cheese. So I've got the Laughing Cow ones. Uh, these were new, little chia pods of Birchie Muesli. Kevin's liked the little chia pods before, but now he's on to Muesli more so. Quite expensive. I think um, they were $2.95 each as an introductory special. When I know how cheap it is to make my own, I don't know how much mine would cost, a dollar, a dollar fifty probably. But so he really likes to have his Muesli now, so I thought I'll get them. There's an orange and Brazil nut and a pistachio and cranberry. The use by date was, well, you can't read it, 14th of December. So that's what? 25th of December. Maybe that one says 25th, I can't read it. It's 14th. So they last, you know, three to four weeks. Um, so if I haven't got food for him, um, he can have that. <laughs> for, his, um, for his sort of 11 as we're calling it, because <laughs> not really breakfast, but he has, he'll have a muesli about 11 o'clock. Got some organic butter. I've got two glue totally out of um, spreadable butter. Pasta salad I got for, for rolls tomorrow. I thought the kids could do like ham, cheese and pasta salad rolls. So I've got some free range ham as well. Some milk and again I went to a big one this time because we've got extra guests here. And an energy lift for me because I think I'm going to run out of my green tea one. Especially since it's been so warm I've been drinking a little bit more of that. Um, doesn't look like a plant-based um, shop today, does it? These are all on sale, <laughs> so I kind of we don't have much, so I kind of stocked up, and that should keep us going for ages now because we're not really eating a lot of these things. Maybe I think once a week we're having, if that, probably, but um, that'll keep us in stock for some time. Oh, I should show you what I've got. So I've got two of the plain crispy soy fillets, and I might actually cook one of those for my my salad today. A cheese and spinach schnitzel. The southern burgers, the um, chicken style strips. I think I've already got one of these, but again, they're on sale, so I picked up another one. And the Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages that we, we like. And yes, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I was kind of looking for, I went down the ice cream aisle looking, kind of thinking, maybe I should get something tonight. I've been sort of wanting ice cream. And knowing that we had guests tonight, I thought, well, tonight's a good time to get it because they'll be, we're sharing it. <laughs> Not that we eat the whole lot anyway. But when I saw the little snowman, I could not resist. I am a sucker for packaging. I admit it, yes. Okay, I've got these tiger rolls. They're for lunch tomorrow. Got some more free range eggs, though I just realized I've actually got a dozen, 10 in the fridge. I thought I was down to like four, but I found another box of four, I think, in the fridge. Got some mission wraps. I was quite liking the other ones I was buying. I didn't like them. Chrissy wants these ones, so I've got these ones, and I might just maybe alternate. We'll see how we go. Um, I got this fountain sweet chili sauce to try um, because it's got nativia in it rather nativia rather than sugar in it. So thought that might be one to try. Yes, yeah, so I was bad and bought myself another packet of these chips, and I've got some. They're on sale. Only one bag for Athena's friends today. They're on sale, so I've got two, and then we've got a spare one. Picked up these for Kevin as well. Um, little oats and chia, mango and banana and mango, and you just um, add, I think just add water to them and heat them up. So again, if we're stuck, he can take one of them. The ingredients were pretty good, or very good actually. Oats, chia seeds, where are we? Oats, chia seeds, coconut sugar, dried mango, dried banana, 
and some virgin coconut oil. So, yeah, and they had a few different flavours of those. There's five in a pack, and I reckon they will be really handy. I probably wouldn't have picked up the birch muesli's if I'd seen these beforehand. A little bit of fruit from Coles. I've got some bananas. As you can see, they're massive. So I've also got some smaller bananas that are green that we should see us into early next week. But we've got... Um, we have no bananas left. <laughs> um, some tomatoes... We've got our two tomatoes left, and I didn't know what we're doing for we need them for rolls tomorrow. And onions because also the onions. There's also a watermelon down there on the floor from Bakerzilla. I've got two loaves of high fiber bread. I went then went to the fruit shop. I got some red grapes and some green grapes, and my first cherries. And I just tried one, and it was rather nice. I only bought a few because I didn't know if they were going to be nice or not. But yes, quite nice, just not the best yet. But not bad for early season strawberries. Not bad for early season cherries. Uh, two pints of strawberries, they look good, hopefully they're nice. And six mangoes, because the mangoes are so good right now. Kevin's been to the groceries today and picked up a few things that I needed. Um, so I needed, wanted some of my um, iced cooler, the green tea. Like them, some butter wheat crackers, we had none. I wrote down with the wrong thing on the list, so we've got this as well. Because I totally forgot they're called vita wheats, but they should be alright to try. I don't know. Try them. Some beetroot slaw, some sliced cheese. Cream was not on my list. What's the cream for? Me. So you're just going to have cream by itself? Yes, I'm going to drink it. Okay. Uh, some potatoes. Because we've used up all our potatoes. Bread rolls for lunch today. Some bagels. Actually, it's bread rolls for today and lunch tomorrow for them. And he went to the health food shop and got some TVP because we're nearly out of that. 